Hey, good morning. My name is Brent Davidson. I'm uh, one of the operations section chiefs with the Southwest Incident Management Team 3 uh, with an update here on the north zone of the Calf Canyon incident. Um, so I'll talk uh, kind of around around the horn here, starting over in the what would be the southwestern portion of the north zone. It's a division November and Oscar is what we call it, uh, you know, over by Truchas and, and Penasco primarily. Um, that's going to be unstaffed moving forward right now, um, just with the conditions and, and the mud and, and all the rain and everything like that. Um, we've pulled all the equipment out of there. Yesterday was the last day for some, just some of the overhead, some of the some of the folks in there just continuing to gather information and intel so that there's a good plan in place uh, whenever we do have the conditions to go back in and finish up that work. Um, the work that's in there that needs to be completed would be removal of some trees and material, some mastication, some road work, and some dozer line repair. So there's a good plan in there, but unstaffed currently, and we'll, uh, we'll look to our better condition to be able to get back in there and do that work. Um, moving up to the northern part, uh, this is our Division Sierra, which is, uh, is by Pot Creek, just off 5 t 518, just a little bit outside of, of Taos. Um, they continue to do road repair and road work in there, and that's pretty much from some of the suppression activities and access that they had for suppression uh, resources uh, moving in that area, just fixing some of that damage, and also um, having that road in good shape for removal of material from this indirect line construction that was going on up in this area. So continue good road work in there, working on drainage for the road, some road base, grading, and things like that. It's going well. Um, as we continue to move over toward Angel Fire uh, and, and Eagle's Nest in that area, um, really just some additional cleanup up there, um, cleaning up drop points, locations where we staged equipment as it came in and out of the fire area, cleaning up and repairing those, those drop points, um, also cleaning up some of the camp um, activity that was in, in Eagle Nest. And then um, there's another section of road they're working on with material to, uh, for, for removal of some of the material that's out there from all the suppression activity. So um, still good good work going on in there. Um, a little bit of a pause yesterday afternoon with some of the rain, and we'll continue to evaluate conditions, try not to do any more damage, and just wait till, the, till everything dries up to continue that work. As we keep moving down toward more of the, the actual fire area here um, where, where it did burn, we do have our repair group that continues to be in the, the area of Mora, Chacon, Hallman, um, all, all over in here. They're split up into three different task forces, and, and, and they have a few different crews that are spread out through the area, um, working on all kinds of repair work. Um, with the dry conditions the last few days, they focused on a lot of mechanical work while they could. So they were repairing roads with, with graders and dozers, and uh, uh, also turning back and repairing um, dozer lines and things like that as well as chipping with crews. Uh, they're working on fence repair, hand line repair, all kinds of different things. Um, yesterday they had, we're tracking the number of repairs that are out there. Um, as we identify more, we add them to it. And as we complete repairs, you know, we take them off our list. Yesterday they were able to complete close to 100 repairs, you know, primary primarily over in this area. Um, so it was a really good day yesterday with a, with a, with a nice dry day. So starting to look good. Um, definitely a lot more out there. Continue to evaluate and find those other things that aren't cataloged. Catalog those and put them on the list for repair. Um, there was one small section and, and very small as you come over Holman Hill on um, 518, uh, moving to the, to the west. There was a little bit of debris flow um, yesterday. I think it happened overnight. It was probably about 20 feet wide and just came across the highway. Nothing major, no big debris, just a little bit of sediment that came across there. That's all that we've seen so far, but we continue to evaluate uh, um, and, and look for those, those, those debris flow areas if we identify them and, and, and get any removal out there. So, so far so good on the northern zone. Um, as we come down toward the, the actual fire perimeter here, um, you know, we are continuing to keep eyes on this. There, we do have infrared flights that happen overnight um, from time to time to make sure that there's no issues out there. Um, there's been a few flights uh, with helicopters, uh, prim primarily in the south zone, but we have done uh, a couple up here on the north zone just for detection. Not really seeing anything. Everything looks good. Continue to get rain down here around this area and continue to add a little bit of a containment at time as we continue to evaluate that. Um, you know, at, at this point with the conditions, um, you know, which is different than before with fire activity, conditions have changed to, you know, lightning, rain, slick conditions, poor access due to mud, things like that. We don't have people actually out here on the fire, but we continue to, 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 
to keep eyes on it, really no concerns, really no heat sources at this point. Everything's looking good, and we can have a forecast for more rain for the upcoming days. Um, that's the end of update for today, and thank you.